Hey everyone, my name is Anurag. I am a field architect at Chronosphere, also a maintainer of the Fluent uh, ecosystem. I was to be joined by Kanan Patel from LinkedIn, who is to tell us about how they do petabytes a day of processing and collection, but unfortunately he had an emergency. So for the recording, Kanan, you're gonna help us with the blog so that everyone here can learn. Uh, but until then, I will talk a little bit about what I've learned working with some of these very, very large organizations with hundreds of thousands of servers, cloud providers, banks, uh, health companies, et cetera. So why do we even care about processing and collecting hotel data at scale, right? There's, why does this problem even exist? And I don't think anyone in this room is going to go and say, hey, we don't have a lot of complexity. We don't have data growing. Uh, and, and really what we've seen is just this enormous amount of, you've got containers, you've got more and more virtual machines, more and more processes. Uh, you've got data that only exists via API, things that you have to collect from a cloud service. And as that complexity starts to erupt and, and grow, we have a desire to go and collect and process all of this, this data. Right, and, and I think on the second side, right, telemetry growth is, is kind of out of control. There's a lot of useless data that we're collecting. Um, I, I'll be the first to admit, I put a debug statement in and I forgot to take it out when we pushed to prod and that's caused you know, multiple bills to, to, to go up. And that is to say, if we look at what traditional architecture is, you've had traditionally these backend services, they provided you these agents, this instrumentation to go collect that data. You really don't have much processing uh, and you're really limited to what is available by that vendor, right? There's nothing wrong with this. This architecture exists. And if you're under you know, a few terabytes per day, this is probably gonna work out great for you. You don't really have to worry too much about how do I scale that out? How do I uh, go and perform for, for this massive petabytes or multiple terabytes per day? And so the first step that we typically see when you go and start to do these things at scale is introducing a new layer, right? How do we go solve this complexity? We add more complexity. <laughs> And, and so this telemetry pipeline or dedicated processing layer is something you might have started to hear about. And the idea behind it is that I can start to scale and independently do some of the processing uh, and collection instead of doing it all at one spot or another. This really gives me also complete ownership. If I'm an observability or telemetry team that owns this type of architecture, uh, I can go and say, hey, let me go deploy a change. Let me enact a, a, a reduction. Let me go enact an enrichment. Uh, I have full control over what is uh, being processed at, at that time. Of course, there's all these SLAs and SLOs that you can also start to add within that single layer. Uh, and it doesn't really exempt the collection layer nor the backend layer from what they're meant to do and, and uh, achieve as well. So there's this really big question that starts to pop up, right? When we start to have this type of scale, we're now doing this collection, we've added a new layer. Where should I do my processing? Do I do it at the edge? Do I add all my host names at the edge? Do I do this at a dedicated layer? Should I do everything in this dedicated uh, new telemetry pipeline? Should I process the data in my backend with a query? And there's a really simple answer to this, yes. We're gonna do it everywhere. Uh, we're gonna do the processing where it makes sense. And really this is where, when you start to look at multiple terabytes, petabytes per day of open telemetry data, you have to ask yourselves a lot of questions, uh, right? We don't just have to jump to, to a solution. We gotta understand, is this enrichment only available at a certain level, like a host name only available at a host? Do we need to be cognizant of boundaries and sovereignty? Do we need to do redaction and removal before it hits potentially a cloud-based backend service? And I'll skip a couple of these, but the other part that we never think about from a technology side is, are the teams that own this the same that are gonna be enacting those changes, right? If, uh, if it's something where I have to go ask permission every time, that could slow me down for those type of pieces. The next step is really these open solutions. I think everyone here obviously knows what open telemetry and, and the Fluent ecosystem is. Introducing these things really helps to bring about how do you do some of this scale and, and, uh, and all of this collection. 
And with that, I'll leave uh, everyone with some open source resources, uh, some books, some newsletters, uh, and, and of course, our, our Flintbit Academy with uh, some sessions. So with that, thank you so much. Happy to chat more in detail uh, and specifics.